Hey peeps, in today's video, we'll be using our laser engraver to create a personalized acrylic LED sign. We got this kit on Amazon. What it is is kind of a acrylic night light or light up thing. It comes with four bases and pieces of acrylic that we can engrave. So acrylic has a really neat feature that when you engrave it, a light shine from the edge will actually glow on the engraved area. So we're gonna utilize this kit to make some different designs. These just kind of stick in there and light up our engraving. So we're gonna come up with some designs. We'll take some measurements of the area here and then we'll kind of make our designs that will fit within the acrylic pieces that came with it. Of course, we could always use our own acrylic and make this custom. We'll be using Lightburn to set up our design and we'll start by drawing out the base of our acrylic cutouts. In the Cuts and Layers tab, we'll turn the shape into a line instead of a fill. Now we're going to import the image we want to engrave on the acrylic. Then we can trace the image and resize it. We also want to align the objects together. Next we'll ungroup the pieces of the image and select the outline that we want to use the offset tool on. Now we'll resize and align everything. Now we're going to ungroup the image and the offset so we can just group together the image piece. And we'll put this on a fill layer. Then we want to use a boolean tool to join the two lines together. We're now going to flip our image, which we really don't need to do for this specific design because it doesn't look much different flipped. The reason you'd usually want to do this is because when you put the acrylic piece into the base, it's going to be on the opposite side that you engrave it. Finally, we're going to attach some engraving and cutting settings that we've made for previous projects to the layers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, because this laser doesn't have crosshairs or anything like that, it uses a camera uh, to pick up where your material is, and then you can kind of adjust your project to where your material is. Though we do have it pretty calibrated, almost perfect, it's never gonna be perfect perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down some masking directly onto our bed, and then I'm gonna do a light engraving of our design uh, along the edge. And then I'm going to position our acrylic on top of that, and that should give us a perfect, perfect lineup of our acrylic. And this is a good technique if your camera isn't 100% calibrated. So we're going to duplicate the outline and move it to another layer and turn off the other layers. Again, we're doing this to make sure our design is centered and later we found that our camera worked well enough that we didn't really need to do this. So we won't be using this technique for the designs we engrave later in this video. Our design's too big.
Clean cut. So we cleaned this up and we noticed this weird texture on it and that's because we didn't take off the protective clear plastic covering before we engraved it. We definitely should have done that. It's a really thick covering here. So we should have removed that before engraving. We'll make sure we do that with the rest. We engraved this design again over this acrylic cutout to try to reduce the texture, but unfortunately it didn't really work. Well, running it again did not clean up this texture like I would have liked. I think it's still pretty cool, but it's not perfect. So what we can do and what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna use our own acrylic and cut this out again. And that's what's kind of cool about lasers is you can get your own material and you can cut out as many different pieces for this base as you need or desire. So let's cut this out. This time we took off the protective covering where we're gonna engrave. much cleaner. So let's go clean this off and then take off the backside protective covering and see what this looks like. Now let's do some more designs.
thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.